Thank you for joining us today. This is a film series called Something from Nothing, which tells the stories of special people in the profession of structural engineering. Structural engineers are the backbone that create the infrastructure of our nation. They work with architects. We create buildings. Look around you. Every building that you live in was designed by a structural engineer. We're not architects, but we work closely with architects. And very few of you know who we are. Most probably, none of you know who we are. So we've created this series in conjunction with the Structural Engineers Association of Southern California to introduce the best and the brightest of our industry to show the world what we are and who we are. So I, I realized that having like a routine specifically, I realize I perform a lot better. I realize that if I have this kind of control over um, like my fitness and like my food, then I could take control of like other parts of the day, like specifically like my stress and like I have more like mental clarity, especially at work. Right now I am an engineer at KPFF. So I'm more of like the project engineer where the GC and the architect, they contact me and I'm in, to, like, I'm in charge of like the coordination between them. So I really have to think about how like the structure has to intertwine in the architectural, the mechanical, like the plumbing. So I like, I like that portion because then you really get to think like, you look ahead of like the issues that you could see structurally and then you could fix them before they happen. I went to Cal Poly Pomona from 2012, 2017 in civil engineering. So I graduated there with my undergraduate degree. I grew up in um, San Diego, California. I um, lived there my whole life. My grandparents immigrated from the Philippines. Um, I think my grandpa joined the Navy to get us to America. Um, my parents, they were pretty on top of me, like, with my schooling. They got me started at, like, a young age to, like, take, like, all, like, the honors classes, the AP classes in high school and really try to, they shaped me to have a, like a, a college after high school. Like that's what the goal was since, since like a young age. I moved from San Diego to San Marcos in 2006. It was more of like a suburban town and a lot of the people there wanted to go other places for college, right? Because we wanted to like see big cities and like we had like goals and aspirations. Um, I personally wanted to be a dentist at the beginning, yeah. and I, I soon realized that my hands weren't sta steady enough. So I was like, okay, I can't do this. I decided I wanted to be an architect because my uncle's actually an architect, and he was like, oh, you should go into it. it would, it's like a cool field. You get to design buildings. So I had the idea that I wanted to be go into like that kind of field, but I didn't know like a direction yet. And I soon realized that I wasn't as artistic as I thought. I was a little bit more like numbers oriented, I really liked calculus and physics. I decided to do structural engineering. The reason why I like structural engineering is because like the buildings that we design, people like kind of take it for granted because like if you walk into like an apartment complex, for example, um, you just think of it as an apartment complex, but when the engineer's designing it, you think of it and be like, yeah, this is the building that someone's gonna live in. Like, can you imagine like the experiences they're gonna have, like what they're gonna feel like living in here? And it's cool just to have that knowledge and especially because like if when I'm working on like hospitals like they're doing a lot of good stuff there there's a lot of good that happens in these kind of buildings and it makes me feel pretty good just to know that these kind of structures like I was part of them so that's why I applied to Cal Poly Pomona and I got in for civil engineering I thought that college would be easy so I had that m mentality at the beginning and then I was quickly humbled the next few quarters I would say the first two years were really difficult for me uh, I went in um, my first quarter, I got like straight A's, but then the second quarter, that's when um, it started to change. That's when I started taking more of like the uh, engineering courses. So I struggled a lot. I failed vector static. So like the first oh, engineering class. The very first class. Yeah. So I came in with like a game plan and then I took it again in fall of my second year. And I, um, I actually went to office hours. Well, office hours is such a humbling like time, right? Because you go to the professor, and you ask them a question because you genuinely don't know how to do it. 
And my professor was so, um, he was upset with my work. My professor asked me, like, do you want to be an engineer? Because right now, like, I don't think you can be one. Oh my goodness. Yeah. He said that to you? Yeah, he said that. I really, like, thought, should I even do this? Nowadays, I look at it, it's, like, really easy, right? But it was tough because it, um, since he was such an established person in industry, I really took that to heart because I was just a student. I was 19, 19? I was so close to passing. I got a D or a D plus. So I was like really, really close. But I was, I had to stay like, I had to persevere through it and say, and have resilience during this time because I rethought, I was like, maybe I'm not doing like every single thing I could do at this point in time because I was still, I was studying with people, but I wasn't taking like extra help and stuff like that. So I took like workshops now and we were in study groups and then I took a lab, which also helped with this class. So I was doing the homework, I was working with my friends, I took a lab and I did workshops. So I had essentially, I dedicated probably close to like 16 hours worth of work towards this class a week now. And then like, I took it again and I got an A that time. Third time I set the curve every time because wow. I put in, I put in like so much more work than I did the first time. I used to be like super sensitive about like what anybody, any criticism that people say. But nowadays, like I realize that in my, in, in the industry, you're gonna make mistakes and you just gotta own up to it. And if you make the mistake again, you'd usually get a pass, but then after that, you have to learn from it. Because I feel like if you put in the work and you do like every single thing to push yourself through it and have that like mental toughness, you'll feel so much more accomplished because you reached your goal at that time. And like setting those like little micro goals will help you like loads in your career. All the hard work and all the dedication that I put in throughout the years, um, the five years at Cal Poly Pomona, it really shaped me for what was next, which was getting my master's degree. And I went to UCLA for my grad school and I actually wanted to go to USC for my master's degree at the beginning. I was really, really set on like going to USC but my grandpa, he, um, he wanted me, him and like my whole family wanted me to go to UCLA they, because um, a couple of my relatives went there. Like at the time, um, he had the idea, then he like passed away in February that year. He thought I was gonna go there for undergrad, but I didn't go there for undergrad, but now I finally made it like, five years later. And I actually went to UCLA instead of USC because he, like before he passed away, like, he wanted me to go there, right? And it actually was a better decision because at UCLA, like the education, in my opinion, um, it was really good because I met like really, really nice professors and they were really established in industry. Right now, I am working towards to be more of like the project engineer, like a more of a manager one, more of a management position. Um, I would say that this kind of stuff, like they don't teach you in school, like interactions between like the GC or like the architect. So it's like things that I just pick up on based on experiences, right? But I like it a lot more. I've had a couple interns under me at times and I like teaching them like new things because they're fresh out of school or maybe they're still in school. They have like the theories in mind of like what they can do, but they don't like see like the application in practice. So it's cool just to see and teach um, like younger people. Every engineer has their own story. It's like a journey to get where they are. It's the journey that what makes like the engineer great. <laughs>